YouTubers and welcome to a new video of arepas for dinner. So in today's video, I bring you with me to a cottage or jalupa experience in the Czech Republic. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I'm an expat here in the Czech Republic, married to a Czech man and I have a lot of Czech friends and I do a lot of Czech activities and I try to put my input and just my opinion on those Thanks. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because if you like this video, you're gonna love my channel. So that's it, let's start with the video. So guys, we are starting the morning that we're going to the cottage or the halupa, hata, I'm not sure, halupa, I guess. And first of all, I'm doing this like work that I love making for sandwiches to like share with everybody because the food is gonna be in each and every one of us it's like nobody's gonna be cooking so i decided to make that for everyone so we are packed and here i'm taking a backpack backpack i'm taking my laptop with me because i do have to work a little bit tomorrow we are bringing the ice machine because finding ice in small towns might be hard and keeping it might be super hard we're bringing sleeping bags because you are supposed to sleep in sleeping bags even though they have beds that's super normal here in the czech republic when you go to somebody's cottage to bring your own sleeping bag. Here is the pork that I made and I also bought those breads so they can assemble the little sandwiches. I also, I'm also bringing apples and there's uh, the drinks and I also put there some instant coffee. Hi guys, so we are on our way. It's right now, it's right now 8 p.m. Completely daylight here because, you know, summer days are just so long. And I think we're gonna be there around 10 p.m. and I'll just show you guys around. So we just said hi to the friends, but even though it's July, right now it's like 14 degrees and freezing so bad. So I think we're gonna put our suitcases upstairs and I'm gonna change the shorts into pants and take the hoodie and go back to the bonfire where it's everybody and I can show you guys how it looks. So guys, look at this, it's 10 p.m. and we still have some sun over there. But nevertheless, we're also here sitting by the fire, just enjoying some beers and some nice conversation with the friends. Choke it. Choke it. So just enjoying the night. Good morning everyone, um, now I'm here alone in the kitchen editing. I'm still working, they're enjoying. I just wanna finish this. That's what happens when you work remotely. There's no vacations. Okay, I finished working and we come here to like join the rest. Also, the guys were working here in the compost that had to meet, be moved today and everybody came to work or to look at it at least. And there it is. So they're just moving it from there to the biggest barrel. So, 
everyone wants to go for a walk and we will go but first we're having one hour nap and after that we'll go for a walk hopefully um somewhere cold so i can show you guys so guys now we're gonna do that um walking kind of in flip-flops so i don't think we're gonna be hiking trip and i'll show you if we get to the restaurant to have some fried cheese as well So now, as you can see, we're just walking in this beautiful, beautiful nature around Cal, that is the town. And I think the idea is to get to a restaurant to eat fried cheese. That is actually what you do here when you're kind of hungover and we are kind of hungover. At the end, we are hiking as you already saw. And that's actually a very tech thing to do, especially when you go to a cottage. There's always like one hike just to see the view on the schedule, which I find great. I mean, that's not very common in Venezuela. So I find it interesting and I really, really like it. I enjoy it. We are almost there, guys. There is only one restaurant in the town, so I asked the boys if they knew where um, where the restaurant, like where, where the rest of the group was, and they were like, well, there's only one restaurant in the entire town, so you tell me. So that's where we are heading right now. So we just arrived to the restaurant, and there was one, more than one. They're evil. <laughs> Now we're on the restaurant having a bite. I ordered some salad and Jan ordered a trio of cheese that I'm gonna show you once it comes. So here is the three cheeses. It's fried cheese is hermeline, blue cheese and the normal item with some tatar sauce. And of course I'm gonna try it. So guys, the place of the ice cream is closed. I'm so sad it was here um it is here but they closed quite early and it's already i think like 8 p.m something like that so i i i'll try to come by tomorrow and order one and show you how they look but otherwise that's it for today so we are walking back home it's very fast it's just like three kilometers <laughs> but well that's it that's that Guys, I told you we didn't want to walk back. Well, we run into some friends, which is very funny because it's very random. And we run into some friends and they're like thinking how to like feed us all in the car so we don't have to walk back. simple breakfast and now we're gonna go to super cool pool and i'm gonna show you guys everything once we're there so i came to the ice cream place that i told you guys about and if you see here in the money you can see that you can pick from vanilla cream yogurt or quite of but it's a type of cheese with no salt and then the type of fruit you want and then you can pick in a cone or in a cup and I'm gonna go for the cheese one, it's the best one with cherries in the cone I'm not kidding guys, look the line for this place but <laughs> it was worth it mm.
How pretty is this? Since there's no beach. Meanwhile, Yanni's over there. He's ordering some globasa for me and he's ordering some langosh for himself. I'm gonna show you what langosh is. Garlic oil, cheese and ketchup. And it's literally, they say the best hangover food. I don't know, I'm having something else, but it's very, very good. And I really, really enjoy eating this once in a while. It's my lunch. Yum. It got kind of cloudy, but everybody's still here chilling. I just think we might be heading home very soon. So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope this summarized pretty okay. How is the Kotash experience here in the Czech Republic with Czech people? Remember, I was the only foreigner in that event. So that's it. See you next one, next Friday with a new video. Bye.